My name is Rebecca Land and I have two children here, Joseph and Ethan Land. And Ethan is in year four now and Joe's in year two. Yeah, they think it's fantastic. They've always really, really enjoyed it. Um, it'll be five years now with Ethan being in year four from reception that they've been coming here. Um, it's a very, very nurturing environment and it's full of things to do. And they've just, they've had a wonderful time the whole time they've been here. I think over the past probably two or three years, there's been a much stronger push academically at the school and it sort of raised the standards of learning and achievement in that sense. But I think across the whole time they've been here, it's been a, a wonderful environment in terms of feeling secure and happy um, and ready to learn. We live down near Southgate Green, so we're actually about a mile away. Um, when I was looking at the schools, I really, really liked De Bowen. I may, at the time, have been one of the few people who actually made it one of my top choices, because I felt that, as a school, it's very student-centred. They really, really care about getting it right for each individual, and rather than building a structure and fitting the children in, they look at the individual child and sort of fit their provision around them. So I made it my choice, um, and we're a little bit further away down in Southgate Green. I think it's a fantastic package all round. I think it does now have um, a very strong academic drive, and the children are um, expected to reach pretty high outcomes. Having said that, I don't think that they are put under undue pressure. I think it's a very happy environment, a very safe environment. And there are lots of sort of extracurricular things going on, like we do. They have fencing after school clubs and drama and all sorts of things. So really, it's a kind of an overall holistic, fantastic learning package, I think. It's, um, it's gone up in my estimations, but I always valued it. Well, there's been quite a long journey for this school. Um, you may know it was in special measures a few years back. There was a very, very damning Ofsted report. And in the light of that, the head at that point um, resigned and a whole new management team came into post. That was kind of organic. We got a new head teacher first and she then um, appointed two other assistant heads, deputy head and assistant head. And I think that combination of people and their vision um, have sort of put in, in to practice some really, really good um, learning structures and I think that they have um, focused on that overall, they focused on raising the academic standard, I think they felt that that was the way forward for the school which I think is probably quite right. But in doing that, what I was a little concerned about is that they would lose the kind of lovely nurturing, caring, fun side, but they haven't. They have maintained that. So I think the point at which the huge changes started were when we got the new head and the new management structure in place. They were very clear about what they wanted to do. It's useful just for messages and sort of how we all stay in touch these days, Facebook and different sorts of communications, and the, the app is very instant. So if, if, for example, the school was closed not long ago and I saw it on the app that it was going to be closed before I saw it anywhere else. So it's fairly useful to have that it's direct contact. I think... It's a very good visual image, the bus, because it does describe a journey and it describes also not the quickest journey, that it is, it's a route with many stops and many changes and I think it's a very good metaphor and I think um, the children have really grasped it. My children are always talking about buses and, and uh, getting to outstanding, so hopefully we'll be there in the not too distant. I think it's a fantastic place. I have to say, when we first moved here, it was five years ago, um, my husband works in Farringdon, which is down in town, and I wanted to be slightly further out, a little bit more rural than Enfield. Um, so Enfield, because he needed to be in town, was a compromise for us. But 
in hindsight, it's been no compromise. It's a fantastic place. It's just full of green spaces. It's full of activities for kids and things to do. And yet, it's still half an hour, 40 minutes into London. So it's been, for us, a bit of an eye-opener. I didn't realise just how good it was for kids around here, but it is. It's, and, and we found the school, so it, it's worked perfectly so far. My eldest son wants to be Prime Minister. I think that might be, uh, yes, a little bit too hopeful. No, I'd like them to be happy. I'd like them to have um, a sense of choice. I would like them to have um, a strong sense of community. I would like them to have um, quite high academic ability. Overall, I think if they realise that they have choices in life, and they find the path that makes them happy, that's what I ultimately want for them. Absolutely, I think it's been a fairly fundamental part of that. They spend a lot of time at school, and they've developed um, a lot of sort of strong senses of um, social behaviour and learning respect for other people as well as learning all the academic things as well. I think it's been very much part of their development as individuals, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, I became a governor back at the point when the school went into special measures because at that point I felt very concerned and worried about what had happened. And I wanted to help, so I joined up and became a governor. Um, it was very helpful, I think, both for me and I hope for the school, but for me, I felt that I could understand a lot of the issues and a lot of what was going on and be part of the journey to, to fixing that. Um, it became clear what a lot of the issues were and why we had received the marks we had. And I think we, we kind of formed a very strong governing body at that point. There were several people who joined who all had the same notions of kind of pushing things forwards and um, making reparation for what had gone wrong. Um, I think what it's about being a governor is holding the school to account, to account for their, um, their provision, their curriculum, the way in which things are delivered. So it's a sort of not so much a role of doing as observing and asking questions. So when we have a meeting, we'll say, how do we do that? Do we do that as well as, say, someone over there in a different borough? How do we um, monitor our children in this way or that way? How do we ensure that we're delivering the best that we possibly can? And I think that's really, in a nutshell, that's what being a governor is. It's holding the school to account and making sure that we are doing the very best that we can.